Right, as always, starting the session the right way. Ah, once again, cheers. Welcome to a new video. I am back on the bank. I'm once again in the Cotswolds hunting some day to get bangers. Hopefully we get lucky, but I haven't got long until it gets dark. So I need to crack on, get the kit sorted, get some rods in the pond, get fishing, and hopefully we can show you another banger in this video. So let's crack on, get it done, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right then, well, the rods are fishing and um, everything's sweet. I am back up in the Cotswolds and I'm back on the Hawcock complex. And I'm having another go on the Scout Lake. So I think it was two videos ago, I come up here with Hugh and we did a, an overnighter basically. I managed one in the morning and it was a lovely fish. And I've seen some of the photos of the fish in here and there are some absolute mega ones in here. There was a linear caught um, uh, last week, I think it was. I think it was like 31 or 32, but it was like a zip lin, absolute creature of a thing. And um, I'd love to get a few of them, if I'm honest. So I had a bit of an itch. I wanted to scratch. I wanted to come back up here, have another go, see if I can get one of those fish. And um, I know it's a bit samey, and some of you might want to see different venues. And that is the plan going forward, to try and feature loads of different venues. But at the same time, it's my fishing, and I still want to be able to do what I want to do. And so I'm back on here having another go. So hopefully you can still get some from this video. If you haven't seen that other video, go and check it out. Otherwise, just watch this video, and hopefully we'll have some out to show you in this one. But um, yeah, the rods are out fishing. I'm fishing the same spot as last time. It's quite close range. But I've got three out on there. I've put a bit more bait out than last time as well, just because the conditions are so good for it. It's wet, um, southwesterlies really really mild so i am quite confident now i'm not going to go through any tactics or anything now i'm going to go through all that in the daylight because it's obviously easier to do um i'm just going to sink the thatcher as i think for the time being and just chill out for a few hours before getting in the bag now one thing i would mention is when i got here the weather was crap it poured down with rain um, I got wet putting the rods out, got wet spotting out, I had to spot out in the dark as well because everything took so long. Um, and then I set the brolly up initially over the other side of the swim and then I decided to move it to this side of the swim because the wind was cutting underneath it, I kind of judged the, judged the conditions wrong. So I moved it to this side of the swim and in doing so I got absolutely soaked in a torrential downpour and as you can probably see, yes I am absolutely soaking wet through. But it's pointless me getting changed at the moment. I'll probably get changed before getting in the bag um, because if I have to go out and I get wet again, I might as well just get the same clothes wet. So anyway, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna polish off some tin. Hopefully I'll have something to show you before the morning. If not, I'll talk to you in the morning, go through what I'm doing, go through the tactics, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys get something from it. Now, I'm here until about tomorrow afternoon, so I've got a decent bit of time tomorrow, so there's plenty of time to try and get one. And um, yeah, let's hope it pays off. I'm going to finish my factories. Mmm. Yes.
then unfortunately it is a coffee update um, nothing happened in the night a bit surprising if I'm honest I really expected a bite uh, the conditions are really good um, they're getting better as the session goes on so when I got here um, the weather was um, a little bit indifferent but it's got pretty stormy to be honest we've had pretty much gale force winds most of the night I, I'd say somewhere around 30 to 40 mile an hour could have been more um, was definitely um, pretty powerful at times and that brought with it a lot of weather um, we had a lot of rain um, it felt like it was just raining constantly and I would have thought it would have stirred the carp up but to be fair we've had so much of that weather um, this year and last year really it just seems to be that's all we get nowadays it's just wet 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 but anyway unfortunately yeah it's not happened but um, I'm still relatively confident I've got a good chunk of today as well, so maybe I'll switch on in the daylight hours, who knows. But um, I'm feeling confident, the weather's good for it, so there's no reason to say I shouldn't get something. In terms of tactics, very simple, I just fish my normal leg clip setups, um, just a standard sort of um, hair rig um, with a little bit of tube in as a kicker, and then um, fish wafters on all three rods there, the half tones, which are quite new from DNA. And I actually caught on a yellow one last time when I was on here. So I've put two on yellow and one on orange. And just fishing them over the top of some bait. I've got a mix of about, um, well, I've got some 8 mil bug and S7. I've got some uh, 15, uh, sorry, some dumbbell uh, bug. And then I've got a bit of the crayfish pellet. Um, and I put a tin of corn in as well. And then just laced it up with a couple of different liquids. Um, so loads of attraction, loads of just good quality food and um, yeah I've got about 12 or 15 spots over the um, area that I'm fishing which is a lovely lovely clear spot and it's the spot I fished the last time I was here and it obviously did mean that fish so I was more than confident that it could produce a bite if the fish were in the zone but yes it's not produced it um, which, is a, which is surprising but it's fishing so we don't always catch but um, yeah the weather's looking good it's looking better all the time um, it looks really good to stir them up. The wind sort of pushing um, across the lake down into the corner behind me. So I am sort of on the end of the wind uh, pretty much. So um, I am expecting a bite. Um, hopefully it's just a case of time and it will go off before I have to go. But um, if it doesn't, it's still enjoyable being out and getting a bit of fresh air. And there's been a lot of fresh air and a lot of damp air as well. A lot of rain, a lot of wind, but it's all right. Anyway, I'm going to polish off the coffee and um, hopefully one of these rods will go rattling off. Well, I've been watching the water for um, a few hours this morning and I've still seen nothing show. Uh, to be honest, the rods have been quiet. I've not seen any indication of anything anywhere. So I've not got anything to move on. I've not really got anything to go on, to be honest. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe put out a couple more spods, redo the rods, and I'm actually going to put on a couple of um, little mesh bags of crumb. I've got some boiling crumb with me, um, some of the bug all crumbed up in the blender at home and I'm going to put a couple of a couple of bags well three bags out uh, just nicked on to the rigs just to give it a boost of attraction and hopefully that little fresh um, hit of scent with that spod feed going in and also the little mesh bags of um, the crumb will hopefully sort of switch the fish on add a bit of attraction to the water and hopefully draw them in I'm also going to give the um, the mesh bags a good dose of the new DNA smoke amino smoke um, which gives off basically a cloud in the into the water column which should kick out a load of attraction and hopefully sort of draw those fish in so that's the plan of attack i've got about maybe five hours of fishing um, into this afternoon so hopefully it's enough time to nick one before we go but let's get it done stop talking about it and um try and make it happen yeah I should probably do it
Right, that's all three rods back on the spot then. Loads of fresh attraction out there. I've basically put fresh hook beats on. I've got little mesh bags of the bug crumb um, and also added some of the new DNA amino smoke. Now that's not out at the moment. It's um, been in the testing hands. Um, but we've had some for a while, been trying it out, really good stuff, really happy with it. It basically creates a haze over your bait or your hook baits. Um, you can pretty much add it to anything, you can inject it into solid bags as well. And it comes in a really handy, I've got it here actually, it comes in a really handy tube with a little nozzle on the end so you can inject it into your solid bags if you want to use it for that. But yeah, fantastic little product this, um, really happy with it. Um, but yeah, I've put a little bit of that on because it creates that little bit of a, a smoky haze around the hook bait which might help sort of commit a fish to taking it. Um, so yeah, not I've not decided to put any more bait in, I've just decided to go with little crumb um, bags of crumb and obviously that approach to hopefully draw them into the hook bait as opposed to putting more food in and sort of trying to get them to grub around. Um, I do wonder whether fish have visited the spot and maybe just not been very committed to it. So I've also put a rod off the edge of the spot, um, slightly off of it. Um, sometimes that can produce the better fish, that sort of hold back and let the pack fish go in and get um, get um, snared. Uh, sometimes their experience sort of teaches them to hold back a little bit and just float around the edge. So sometimes that can produce a bigger one. But um, yeah, I've put all fresh stuff out there, sort of revamp the spot, give it a, a good sort of boost of attraction. Hopefully it produces the goods. Um, I've got about four hours to go, so um, conditions still look good. It still looks good for a bite. So, um, yeah, hopefully it pays off. But I'm going to get the kettle on and have another coffee. Been watching the water for a while just sat in a chair having a couple of coffees just seeing if anything uh, gives itself away but if i'm honest i've seen absolutely nothing um the sun's come out it's been quite pleasant sat there everything's drying out nicely i thought the sun might have got the fish moving and might have um given a few away but absolutely nothing is happening um very very quiet very surprising because the weather seems good for it it's just one of those days i guess now i just wanted to mention that we are running a giveaway at the moment so if you are interested in winning yourself some free bait go and check out the previous video to this one we're actually giving away five kilo of boilies and some hook baits to go with it as well from dna so go and check that out it's in the previous video to this one it would be titled probably carp and tench day to get fishing somewhat along those lines but yeah, go and check that out as, um, yeah, you can get yourselves some freebies. And there will be monthly giveaways um, going through 2024. So probably not in this video, but in the next one coming up, I'm sure there'll be a giveaway in that one as well. So anyway, I'm going to get back to the fishing. I am actually going to slowly start to pack down now. I've got about two hours left to go. Rods have been redone for a couple of hours. I've got a couple of hours to go now. So what I'm going to do is slowly start to pack down, get things on the barrow and just sort of take it easy before shooting off to um, go and pick up my son from my mum's. So anyway, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully we can have one to finish off. But if not, can't say I haven't tried because I've definitely been doing that. Anyway, let's get things sorted and hopefully we'll have a last minute whacker. <music> back at the van and all the kit is loaded I made a very fast exit as there were some clouds rolling in and it looked like it was about to pour down I didn't want the kit getting soaked before I got it back to the van so luckily I've managed to beat it and um, it's actually not too bad at the moment 
But anyway, that is obviously the end of the session. Unfortunately, it is a blank, but hopefully you enjoyed the video and got something from it. Remember, we've got that competition running at the moment, the giveaway for the DNA bundle. Um, check out the previous video if you want to enter into that. You do need to watch that video and comment and subscribe if you um, are up for winning. So go and check that one out. It's a nice little bundle. But um, that's the end of the session for me. I imagine next time I'm out, I'll probably try and mix it up and go somewhere different. So remember to hit that subscribe button. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, get out on the bank, enjoy your fishing, and I will see you next Tuesday at half past six on the evening for another upload. Get out there, be lucky. See you next week.